Joining me right now exclusively to weigh in is retired U.S. Marine Corps General Anthony Zinni, who served as commander in the Middle East during the Iraq War. General, it is an honor to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. First, give us your takeaway uh, to, to President Trump's move in terms of those military strikes last week. And is it clear to you what America's strategy in Syria actually is? Well, I, I think the strike was the right thing to do. Frankly, I didn't think it was strong enough. Uh, I, th I thought it should have been much more robust. Uh, it is not clear what the strategy is. Uh, I agree with Senator McCain. We should be able to do two things at one time. And uh, Assad challenged us. He challenged this administration, this president, uh, has a very strong, powerful uh, national security team. We made a very strong pitch in the United Nations with Ambassador Haley. He made a very emotional uh, statement in the White House about uh, the tragedy and the horrific events of using gas. And I thought the strike was, a, in, in, frankly, was a pinprick. Yeah, and, and, I think, and I think that he is getting wide sort of agreement on what you're saying. You say it could have been tougher. Yes, uh, you know, if you're going to strike him, take something away from him. Uh, a command and control facility, part of his air defense system, eliminate a couple air bases. And I'm not talking about runway, breaking up runways, but you can remove headquarters and planes and uh, control facilities and towers. Uh, he should have lost something in all this. Yeah, well, um, a statement released by the Joint Command Operation Center of Syrian Allies, this is a group that includes Russia and Iran, uh, is warning the U.S. not to do anything else. Uh, against any further action. Here's their quote, General. The United States crossed red lines by attacking Syria. From now on, we will respond to anyone, including America, if it attacks Syria and crosses the red lines. What do you make of that? What will they do? Uh, I think it's a, an empty threat. Uh, if Assad uh, attempts to brutalize his people by using gas or other means, I think we will have to respond. I think it's expected of us. We saw the outrage in the international community, uh, and, and so I think it, they don't have the capability to threaten us in any major way in that particular area. But where are we going with this, General? I mean, the idea that perhaps this could pressure Assad to step down, is that really what we want right now? We know that when you take one evil person out of a Middle East leadership position, another evil player gets in, wouldn't that open a vacuum for ISIS to take control or the Iranians to take control? Well, what you're touching on is the absence of a strategy. And I think there's several things that we ought to be working on now. First of all, to bolster our, our alliance in the region. You know, the Russians have created one with Syria and Iran. They're courting Turkey. Uh, they have Hezbollah in, in their camp. We need to strengthen the, uh, the, I'm glad to see what the president did with President Sisi, the Egyptians, with uh, King Abdullah uh, of Jordan, uh, the Gulf states, the GCC. We need to strengthen that alliance, get more uh, cooperative uh, use out of uh, their ability to help us in many ways, not only with the military operations, but down the road if we ever set up humanitarian zones. I also think we need to get NATO commitment to be involved in this. Their countries are suffering because of the refugee problems and attacks in this region, and basically NATO's been absent, in my view. But the second thing that has to happen is I think we need to look at this effort that's going on in Geneva about getting talks going. If on official basis it can't be moved forward, I would open up track two talks, unofficial, to generate some ideas. Syria may not be put back together again the way it was. Mm -hmm. If Assad or his regime controls some sort of rump state, that may be acceptable down the road, but I don't think it's acceptable that he can rule over the parts of, of Syria that uh, have been uh, brutalized by his regime. So, uh, so I think there are many parts of this. We have to repair relationships. We have to look at options of containment and deterrence in, in the interim, potential humanitarian zones, energize the, the discussions about a peaceful resolution down the road in some sort of political end state. How, how do you, None of that seems to be happening. No, no it's, it's not. Well, how do you see Russia playing in all of this, General? Because the Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, is headed to Moscow after his G7 meeting in Italy today. What message should, should Rex Tillerson be, be delivering to his uh, Russian counterpart? I think uh, the Secretary of State ought to make clear what our interests are and what our intentions are in this region uh, and, and to make it clear what the, our red lines are in terms of Russian involvement. 
You know, Russia doesn't have a strong position in here. I mean, partnerships with Assad and Iran and Hezbollah aren't exactly the kind of alliance that strengthen, is, is a strengthening position in the Middle East. We counter that by making our alliances much stronger, uh, not only militarily, but politically and, and with the will to, to become uh, more involved. You know, from the people I talk to in the region, you know, leaders of these countries, they are interested in a more cooperative effort in dealing with this. But what they need is the United States to lead with an articulated strategy that makes sense and that they can contribute to. And, and do you think he will, he will put one forth? Donald Trump? Well, I, you know, he, he has the right team. I mean, uh, Generals Mattis and McMaster, uh, I was impressed with Ambassador Haley and her approaches in the U.N. Yes. Uh, I think the president wants to uh, uh, establish a, a strong strategic position in this part of the world. It is important. So the, the ingredients are there. We just need to think through and articulate a strategy that's clear to everyone, even our adversaries in the region. All right. Make it, make it clear a message. General, great to have your insights this morning. We so appreciate your time. Thank you. Have Thank a blessed Easter, Maria. Thank you so much. And to you as well, General Anthony Zinni joining us there. Coming